Welcome to our video on 10 things that make you weaker. In this video, we will be discussing various factors that can negatively impact your physical and mental health, making you weaker both physically and mentally. From poor diet and lack of exercise to stress and poor sleep, we will explore the different ways these things can affect your overall well-being. So, sit back, relax, and take note as we uncover the top things that make you weaker and how to avoid them. One, indecision. Indecision is the state of being unable to make a decision or having difficulty making a decision. It is a common experience and can occur in many different areas of life, such as in personal relationships, career choices, or financial decisions. Indecision can be caused by a variety of factors, including fear of making the wrong choice, lack of information or knowledge, competing priorities, or conflicting values. Some people may experience indecision as a symptom of an underlying mental health condition, such as anxiety or depression. Indecision can lead to feelings of stress, frustration, and dissatisfaction, and can have a negative impact on an individual's overall well-being. Indecision can be overcome by identifying the underlying causes, learning decision-making skills, and seeking support from trusted friends and professionals. 2. Fear Fear is an emotional response to a perceived threat or danger. It is a natural and evolved response that is meant to protect us from harm. Fear can take many forms, such as fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of change, fear of the unknown, etc. Fear can lead to weakness as it can cause stress and anxiety, which can negatively impact both physical and mental health. Fear can lead to a sense of powerlessness, which can contribute to feelings of hopelessness and depression. 3. Insecurity Insecurity is a feeling of uncertainty or doubt about oneself and one's abilities, qualities, or actions. It can manifest in many different ways, such as feeling inadequate, self-conscious, or unsure of oneself. Insecurity can be caused by a variety of factors, including past experiences, negative self-talk, comparisons with others, and unrealistic expectations. Some people may experience insecurity as a symptom of an underlying mental health condition, such as anxiety or depression. Insecurity can lead to feelings of stress, frustration, and dissatisfaction, and can have a negative impact on an individual's overall well-being. Insecurity can also make a person more vulnerable to manipulation, or to fall prey to scams, or to accept mistreatment or abuse. It can also affect the person's relationships and ability to connect with others. Insecurity can be overcome by identifying the underlying causes, learning self-compassion, self-acceptance and self-esteem, and seeking support from trusted friends and professionals. 4. Isolation Isolation refers to a state of being alone or separated from others. It can be physical, emotional, or social in nature. Physical isolation refers to being physically separated from others, such as living alone or in a remote location. Emotional isolation refers to feeling emotionally disconnected from others, even when in the presence of other people. Social isolation refers to a lack of social connections or relationships. Isolation can have a significant impact on a person's mental and physical health. It can lead to feelings of loneliness, depression, and anxiety. It can also increase the risk for certain health conditions such as heart disease, high blood pressure, and cognitive decline. In addition, isolation can make it harder for a person to seek help when they need it, whether that help is practical, emotional, or professional, thus exacerbating any existing issues. Isolation can be caused by a variety of factors, such as living in a new place, losing a loved one, or experiencing a traumatic event. People who are socially isolated may have difficulty making new friends, or may have a hard time maintaining existing relationships. Some people may also choose to isolate themselves as a way of coping with difficult emotions or situations. 
To overcome isolation, it is important to reach out to others, whether that be through friends, family, community organizations, or mental health professionals. Building and maintaining social connections can help to reduce feelings of loneliness and improve overall well-being. 5. Spending a lot of time on our screen. Spending too much time on screens, such as televisions, computers, and smartphones, can have negative effects on physical and mental health. It can cause eye strain, headaches, and back and neck pain. It can also disrupt sleep patterns and lead to feelings of depression and anxiety. To reduce the negative effects of screen time, it is recommended to take regular breaks, engage in other activities, and establish healthy limits on the amount of time spent on screens. 6. Giving up easily. Giving up easily can be a sign of a lack of motivation or a lack of belief in one's ability to achieve a goal. It can also be a result of past failures or negative experiences. To overcome the tendency to give up easily, it can be helpful to set clear and realistic goals, break them down into smaller steps, and track progress. It is also important to acknowledge and address any underlying negative beliefs or past experiences that may be contributing to the tendency to give up easily. Additionally, seeking support from friends, family, or a therapist can be helpful. 7. Neglecting self-control. Neglecting self-control can lead to a variety of negative consequences, such as poor decision-making, difficulty achieving goals, and unhealthy habits. Self-control is the ability to regulate one's emotions, thoughts, and behaviors in order to achieve a desired outcome. To improve self-control, it can be helpful to set clear and specific goals, establish a plan for achieving them, and track progress. Additionally, mindfulness practices, such as meditation and deep breathing, can help to increase self-awareness and improve self-control. It's also important to practice self-compassion, avoid self-criticism, and reward yourself when you achieve your goals. 8. Fatigue. Fatigue is a feeling of tiredness or exhaustion that may be physical, mental, or both. It can be caused by a variety of factors, including lack of sleep, poor nutrition, stress, and certain medical conditions. To alleviate fatigue, it is important to ensure that you are getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, and engaging in regular physical activity. Managing stress through techniques such as yoga, meditation, and deep breathing can also help to reduce fatigue. If fatigue persists despite making lifestyle changes, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional to rule out any underlying. 9. Dwelling on the past. Dwelling on the past, also known as rumination, can be a sign of difficulty letting go of negative experiences or regrets. It can lead to feelings of depression, anxiety, and a lack of motivation. To overcome the tendency to dwell on the past, it can be helpful to focus on the present moment and practice mindfulness. Engaging in activities that bring joy and pleasure can also be helpful. Additionally, cognitive behavioral therapy CBT, techniques such as reframing negative thoughts and acceptance and commitment therapy ACT, can be effective in helping individuals to let go of the past and move forward. You can also try to make a habit of practicing gratitude and focus on what you have instead of dwelling on what you've lost or missed. Eating mistakes. Repeating mistakes can be a sign of a lack of self-awareness or a lack of effective problem-solving skills. It can also be a result of negative thought patterns or past experiences. To overcome the tendency to repeat mistakes, it can be helpful to take the time to reflect on past mistakes and identify the underlying causes. Understanding the reasons behind the mistakes will help you to take steps to avoid repeating them. Additionally, it is important to develop effective problem-solving skills, such as breaking down problems into smaller parts and considering multiple solutions. It's also important to practice self-compassion, avoid self-criticism, and learn from your mistakes. Another helpful technique is to make a plan before taking action, this will help you to anticipate potential mistakes and plan for how to avoid them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and hit the subscribe button. Keep knowing, keep growing.